guys. Welcome back to West Virginia Homesteading Mama. My name is Chris. I am a mom to one, um, adult daughter. I have a son-in-law and three grandchildren. And I've been married for 37 years to the same guy. We were high school sweethearts. Um, I just recently retired in June and he will be retiring next month. So, um, I had to, I went out this morning and had to return some stuff. So I went ahead and stopped by Walmart and picked up some fill-ins. So I'm going to take you down to my table and my counter and show you what I got. Um, <laughs> Excuse me, it's not a whole lot, but let me take you down and show you what I got. Today happens to be Friday, September the 9th. Okay, we'll start over here on my table. I picked up another 42.5 um, ounce thing of coffee at Walmart. It's still $9.92. I picked up a family box of Raisin Bran Crunch. I like to have that occasionally. I also picked up two of the Kel yeah, Kellogg's Club Crisp, one in sea salt, one in ranch, and there is actually an I bought a rebate on those. These were on sale. These are the baking bars. I got um, a Lily's white chocolate style baking bar, and I picked up the dark chocolate. I also picked up three packages of the sweet and dried pineapples. I got two packages of the chopped dates for the pantry. These were on clearance for a dollar, so I picked up two of these for a to make s'mores with. Over here on my counter, I got some, um, a thing of grape jelly. We opened one, so this is to replace that one in the pantry. I am labeling all my pantry shelves, so I picked up four of the three packs of labels. These ultrasonic pest repellers were on clearance for a little over $8, so I picked up one of those. I picked up some another half gallon of milk. This one is good through September 24th. I got a head of cabbage to make some cold slaw and to make um, a sausage and cabbage um, skillet meal. So I picked up two of the boneless, boneless, the beef skinless smoked sausages. I picked up some more cream cheese for bagels. I got a brown sugar and cinnamon. And I also picked up a mixed berry. These are under $2 each. I picked up some Kobe Jack cheese slices for my husband for his lunch. I also picked up some ham, which is the honey ham. I got that to make uh, sandwiches for myself for lunch. I picked up a Santa Cruz organic orange mango drink and one in strawberry lemonade. I also picked up another jug of the Homestyle Tropicana pure orange juice. I got a six pack of Diet Dr. Pepper. We don't buy soda often and when we do we just get enough for a treat. I got my husband a six pack of Sprite. I found this tahini sauce, so I went ahead and picked that up for a recipe. I got two of the queso blanco dips for taco night. I picked up a homestyle gravy. There is, um, and I bought a rebate on that. I wanted to try some matcha green tea with ginger, so I went ahead and picked that up. The puppy in olive oil was also on a um i bought a rebate so i picked up two of those my husband's been asking for cream of wheat so i picked up the just a big well this is instant cream of wheat so it's like the oatmeal packets i also picked up a box of cream of wheat this was on the i bought a rebates as well so I picked up a thing of shells. We're gonna give that a try, see if we like it. Um, Ortego taco um, sauce was also on the I bought a rebate, so I picked up two of those. I got a thing of honey Dijon mustard. 
I have been wanting a bigger um, cast iron Dutch oven. This was at Walmart for $39.99, which is cheaper than I can actually order it from, from Lodge. So I went ahead and picked that up. It is a, I know it's upside down. It's a five and a half quart. I picked up a thing of barbecue chips to go with pizza tonight. I got two of the party size original chips. Those were $3.78 a bag. I got two of the Organic Valley 2% milk. This was on an Ibotta um, rebate as well. I'll use this for smoothies or cereal. I got some chocolate caramel coffee creamer. That is for smoothies and or coffee. I picked up a thing of chicken fried rice and some chicken egg rolls. That will be a Saturday or a lunch for me. I picked up three of the Ballard's sausage links. Ballard's happens to be a local company here uh, in West Virginia. They are they were located out of Wayne County, and I am not sure where they are now. Oh no, they're still in Wayne, Wayne, West Virginia. So I picked up three packages of those. I am going to brown them and can them. These were an Ibotta rebate as well. I got two of the Chobani uh, Zero Sugar. I got a mixed berry and a vanilla. I picked up a two pound bag of Kobe Jack for pizza. I got a thing of Kobe, Kobe, of cottage cheese. I'll eat that with some fruit. These were a on the I bought a rebates as well. If you bought three, I think it was a $10 rebate. So I picked up three of those. And then I got a large 60 count of eggs for less than $10. What are you doing? You can't play with Remy's or with Winnie's toys. Those aren't yours. Man, mom's gonna have to put those up, Lola. Hey, good morning, West Virginia homesteading peeps. It's Chris. Um, it is Monday, September the 12th, the day after 9-11. Um, we are out walking the dog this morning. It's overcast, dreary, kind of drizzly day. We've had a good rain shower this morning. Today, we are gonna go inside my personal messy, messy disarray closet, and we are going to um, declutter and organize the closet and try to make more space in there. We're going to get rid of things we um, have either gotten too big, we haven't worn in the past year to two years, um, and things we just don't need anymore. So that's my agenda for today, but right now we are just out walking the dog so she can go to the restroom in between the rain showers today. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you had a great weekend. And we'll come back when we're, I'll show you the before picture of the closet and then I'll show you some during and after pictures. But right now, let's get to walking this dog. This is a look inside my closet. Um, as you can see, it really needs to be decluttered. Um, I can't even shut the door is how bad it is. But yeah, this is everything that is in here. And we are going to get busy decluttering it. Um, this right here is a tote of baby things that belong to my daughter and I've been hunting out things that will fit my um, two and a half month old granddaughter. So that's what all that is. I have got my buckets and totes ready for things that we don't want. I've got my garbage bag ready. Um, we just ordered flooring for our spare bedroom and for our master. So let's get busy decluttering. I will bring you back when I get everything out. I have got all of my clothes out. I still have the shoes on the top. I'll go through those later. 
I just wanted to kind of show you what <laughs> what we're doing. We are now going to run the sweeper. And I have to declutter back here so I can put some shoes in it. But we are at least making a little progress. I still have that stuff right there to clean out. And this is a trunk that I have had since I lived at, in my parents' house years and years and years ago. Um, I've been married 36 years now. But this has got my wedding gown in it from 1986. It also has um, a baby blanket in it. I want to uh, wash it up now for my granddaughter. This is our cake knife and server set. Uh, my junior high school jacket. My daughter's pageant gown or dresses. Um, my Granddaughter is still a little young for those. My wedding shoes that I had. That is a crinoline that went under one of my daughter's pageant dresses. Here's another pageant dress. I forgot all about those. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's in here. There's my gown, my bouquet. It's about gone. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, our kick topper. It's yellowed. A stuffed animal my husband got me when we were dated. His boutonniere. Oh, just fond, fond memories. And all of this has come out of that closet. That's a pile of clothes on that bed. All right, on to phase hey two. Guys, when I started this project, it was probably around 9 a.m. this morning. It is now a little after 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I haven't finished, so I'm gonna show you my finished product. This is the overview. I have so much more room in here, and it looks so much better. I have downsized tremendously. Look at all that floor space now. Yay! These are some old wedding dresses that belong to my daughters, so I'm going to try to get rid of those. I don't want to keep them, but that is my finished master closet, mine. We do have two master closets. This one over here belongs to my husband. This is his. Um, probably need to eventually do the same thing to his closet. But that'll have to be a day when um, he's home. <laughs> he won't like it if I go into his stuff without him. But yeah, that is the overview. It only took me all day long, but it's finished.